So what the heck is a quiz lesson and how does this affect my grade? I'm sure that's what you're thinking right now. And this is a little bit innovative, a little bit different, and probably something that you're not used to encountering. So let me back up a little bit here and tell you how I came up with this. So I used to have this problem in teaching online communication, and that was that I would offer students a lesson, whether a textual or video lesson, and then I give them a quiz on it in every module. Now, I'm not so different than you, and I understand that our natural inclination in that case is to speed through the lesson, either the video or the reading, um, memorize as much as we can, and then take the quiz, which is really not how I want students to experience the information and interpersonal communication, because as you're learning slowly in this class, it's not just about the knowledge, but it's also about developing the skills of interpersonal communication that go along with that knowledge, and also having the motivation to implement those skills in your life. So then eventually, I would give students the opportunity to take quizzes multiple times without time limits so that they could show me that they knew the information, which is really what's most important to me. Of course, then students stopped preparing the lesson at all, jumped right into the quiz, and then just used the open book notes to take the quiz. So I wanted a way that sort of skipped around that traditional mode of education and really put the emphasis where it should be in this course, which is on you using the skills. And for this reason, you'll notice that these quiz lessons are only worth 15% of your course grade, and the lowest three scores are dropped. But there's really no reason that you shouldn't have 100% um, in your course average in this category. And here's why. You can take these as many times as you want with no time limit. But here's the catch and here's the part that's sort of innovative. Instead of presenting the lesson and then the quizzes to you, Instead, I will give you the lesson information, and at the bottom of that, I will ask you a quiz question. And we'll repeat this 10 times, breaking the information down into 10 parts for each module. Now, my idea here is if you don't know the information or the answer to the question right away, that's okay. You can do it again. Again, what is most important to me is that you have this information in the end, at the end of this module. Not that you're able to regurgitate word for word definitions or terms, because let's get real, that's not how most of us use information in our day to day lives. So, this first quiz lesson, like everything in this module, is ungraded, but you are expected to complete it. So, working through this will give you a better idea of how this is going to work.